Summit is so useful getting ready for these videos. I don't have to get in the car and drive it. I can just tell it where to go. And it goes over there for me. Look at that, perfectly set up for this video. What is going on guys? Today I got the final floor mat review for you. If you're familiar with my channel, you're probably like, this is the fourth set of floor mats you've reviewed. This is it. And these are some good ones. My sponsor sent some two floor mat videos ago and they're just flat. I mean, they're nice. They're all weather floor mats and I used them for a bit, um, but they weren't like cupped. They didn't come up the sides um, and they didn't cover the dead pedal, things like that. And some people were complaining. So I actually told my sponsor, look, people want more coverage. They want more of a bowl so that it'll capture water and liquids and things. And so they said, all right, let's see what we can do. And so they sent me these. And so this is kind of like a response to you guys uh, complaining about the other ones. And that's what I said. These guys are pretty cool. They make stuff and they improve it based off of feedback or they make new products if they can afford to do it based off of feedback. I need to do a tiny little rant. If you care about the channel, watch this part. If you don't, I'll put the, the time that the floor mat part starts and you can skip to that. I'm using my GoPro. I'm having a little bit of a camera crisis. I'm thinking of getting a new camera, but they're really expensive and so I'm just like trying this out. So let me know what you think. Would you like my quality to improve with a new uh, camera? I'm looking at like the Sony a6400 or maybe the RX100 Mark V or Mark 7, something like that. Uh, so let me know what you think. So let me know in the comments below, camera opinions, and let's check out these flow mats. All right, so here's my current setup. If you saw my last video, you know that I got these. They were sent to me for free, uh, and I really like them, but same complaint for you guys. They are all weather. Um, they're durable and they cover enough of the floor but they're not cupped and so stuff can get under there and it's not something that's really concerned me that much but with winter coming up these ones we're installing today I'm gonna keep and these red ones I actually think I'll switch back to in the spring because I just love this red accent uh, and obviously this part there so I just had messed that up so I will be switching back to these I think in the spring I might get too lazy for that but I'm keeping these I really like them uh, so let's check out the new floor mats. So if you end up being interested in these floor mats, there will be a link to Amazon in the Model 3 Part Shop in the description, and you can use the code, I don't know, I don't remember what it is, but it's on the screen now, and you can use that code to get 15% off of these floor mats. So here's the box they come in, just so you can see that. And they're wrapped in a thin plastic. So taking out, oh, these must be the rear, because they're folded. Okay, so here are the rear floor mats. Uh, so very nice. You can see they have a cupped ridge here. Um, so any liquid or anything that spills in here will get trapped. Uh, now this part, it looks like there's no lip. Uh, there's a very tiny lip on the edge here um, for in case liquid spills in the center there. But this part is raised on each side for the passengers. Um, so it looks really good. Put it on the ground and you can check that out and see how they look. Little pattern here. This must be something for when they were making them uh, for the machines to grab onto or something. Um, but cool, I like them and no logo uh, so far. People complain about logos and, and these don't have one. Here is the driver's side, a uh, little bent up here. Let's see if I can fix that. Yeah, just from shipping, uh, but that should work itself out. I hope usually, especially when the car gets warm, the floor mats will kind of work themselves out and take the correct shape. And you can see this completely covers the dead pedal. Um, so there is a very small lip up here, but of course most things will just fall down into here and that'll protect your dead pedal and all the carpet around this area, which the mats I'm using now don't do. They end here and they go up like that. Um, so that's really nice. And again, no logo. So that's really cool. Again, huge complaint I hear. People hate seeing the logos like on this floor mat. People just don't like that. I'm not that particular. Um, I would prefer it wasn't there, but I, I don't care all that much. And then here is the front passenger side. So again, looks really nice. Um, they are a good thickness. They're not super thick, but they're not super thin. Um, they have, what is the brand? The main brand of floor mats, like WeatherTech, I think. I used to have those in my Ford Focus, and they feel kind of like that. They, they feel actually a tiny bit thicker than that. I remember getting those for my Focus and thinking they were super thin and like, oh my gosh, why did I pay so much for these? But they actually ended up being awesome. Uh, so I think these will work really well. So here's a comparison of before and after what I was using. On the left is what I had in my car. I just took it out of there. And on the right is the new mats. And obviously you can see up here, no dead pedal. Here it is covering the dead pedal. And then these come up quite a bit, a few inches here. And this has, this actually does have a tiny little lip to be fair, um, but it's it's not the same. It's, this would hold a tiny bit of liquid. This is gonna hold like your boots were full of snow, which is gonna be me in a couple months. And it all melted and it's all in there and you can just kind of step out of the car, pick it up and dump it out. 
All right, here's the passenger seat. Uh, I was gonna put them all in and show you, but I just had to stop here for a second because uh, this is fitting. It's just so perfectly fitting here. Covers all the carpet on the side here. Um, there is one little spot. It kind of comes out a little bit, but obviously it's still gonna protect everything. But what really impressed me was right here. I saw these on there and I was wondering what it was for. Look at that. There's like this little bump in the carpet here, and this is just perfectly made to fit that. Um, so, I don't know, if this was just here, like this, without this bump part, I wouldn't have even noticed, but that was really nice of them to include that. Um, but this is fitting really tight in here, I mean, it's, it, it can't move, I can't move it anywhere, so that is definitely going to be protecting everything. Well, my, my shoes aren't all that dirty right now, but, um, you can see my foot resting in here, you know, as people are kind of getting in and out, their feet aren't going to be rubbing up against the carpet anymore. I probably should have got these sooner. All right, here's the driver's side, probably the most important for everybody. Uh, these, again, are really form-fitting. Uh, here's that same little bump, and they've accounted for that also on the driver's side. To get these in here, you have to, I have to like push them in. You couldn't just drop them in, because see, they're not really fitting. You have to really mold it in there, and once it's in, it's not moving. It's not going anywhere. This little crease that I was talking about before, it is just sticking out a tiny bit up here, but it's not like my feet go over there or anything anyway, so doesn't really matter and I would assume this will come out with time but it was like that for me so just so you know and the back seat again these are just fitting so tightly it took a little work uh, to get this fitting around the seat rails here um, and up against the back wall here uh, the only part that wasn't super tight fitting is this little middle part here that's still pretty loose but no big deal but just so you know all right, I'm liking these. I'm super impressed. I will definitely be keeping them, and they look really good from a distance. It looks weird to me. I'm used to opening the door and seeing that red accent around my floor mats, because I did actually really like that. Uh, but these will be more protective for the winter, so that's a bonus. Suddenly driving view. We're going for autopilot. No, we're not. We're just checking out this sunshade. One more thing I gotta share with you. It's kind of weird, but they really wanted me to, so I'll do it. A sunshade for the front window. I told them, you know, it's winter, most people aren't going to want this, but to be fair, even for the next couple months, your car gets pretty hot if it's sitting in direct sunlight. The other thing is if you want this for maybe next summer, it's 15% off, so maybe you could pick it up. All right, so I'm actually having trouble getting this to stay up with the suction cups. Um, if I push, can you see? Yeah. If I push on this pretty good, it does stay up there, um, but it's pretty loose. So uh, I don't know. That's not that great. And I'm not a huge fan of putting suction cups on my windshield because I don't want it to leave marks. Uh, where I could see this being useful is if you are camping um, and you really want it uh, to stay up there like all night or something. Uh, it would be nice for that. Personally, this is not something I'm going to use at all. Um, but if anybody's interested, there will be the discount code for it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But I won't be using this. So if you see me somewhere and you want it, let me know. Maybe I'll keep it in my front. You can have it. It does refold really easily. I know sometimes it's impossible to get stuff back in the package. And then this is built in, so you can just do that to have it secured again. And you got two just in case. And that's it. So I'm going to put it back in the bag, and I'm going to keep it in the front. All right, so there they are, floor mats. They look really good. I like them a lot. Uh, actually, pretty excited about them. The quality was really good, and the fit, I was surprised how tightly they fit in there. But these are, like, locked in. Uh, the car actually looks really clean now, you know, for today. Um, because it covered most of the dirty carpets. I didn't even vacuum. Don't judge me. I mean, come on, look at the car. You really think I need to vacuum it? I don't think so. So that's it. If you have any questions, leave them below, and I'll see you in the next video. Hello. Since you're here, what do you think? Whoa. Those look really nice. Yeah, I think... They'll go up nice and high around. It'll be good for winter. Yeah, exactly. I think maybe just because they're clean. They look really nice. That too. But I do like how they they go up high like that. Yeah. Because all the water and stuff from the snow melting on your shoes. 